there's nothing to it so with this luxury brand stuff do you like to make sure that it's luxury oh what the heck banger well it's better to stop now then i'll be very happy that's an absolute fine so i'm back out again uh, i managed to wake up earlier so i've gone on a bit of a more of a mooch so i'm in lincolnshire somewhere uh, i think it's a posh bit of lincolnshire to be honest so let's see what we can find okay so this is also a field test of i call it the lp bag absolutely beautiful thing it's bigger than an ikea bag um luxury pickers if you haven't seen it already it's actually sold out and we don't know when it's coming back but i'm sure they'll let us know at some point but it's a killer bag we're going to test it out see if it does any good for us awkward it's five pounds thank you can i put a card is all right yeah that's fine did you want to round it up to six uh yeah go on then yeah that's fine you sure I can round it down to five? <laughs> <laughs> we do get people say that. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And your receipt. Thank you, love. You're welcome. See you later. Thank you, bye-bye. See ya. Yo, know, it's giving Diagon Alley. Flipping heck. Man, I love these kind of places, man. They're just old, old buildings just make the life, man. So I know I'm in the right place when I'm seeing this kind of stuff. Spirit of the Andes. That's just a basic talk, but I'm not going to pick it up. I don't think Lola will like it for a show but we're in the right place with this stuff like that okay when we see total 90 we take total 90 every time if you don't know it is discontinued since uh, the early 2000s so any of this stuff is kind of like collectible almost and it's a fiver it's small but it don't look like a small oh and it's got the nice little tiempo mic as well oh yeah i'm liking this piece as well look at that a little cheeky sb thing look at the look at the sleeves on that really nice i like these ones where it's just like a little just a little little, little hint a little hint of nike a little logo not like proper in your face you know what i mean i prefer that kind of stuff i'm gonna wear that stuff so i'm sure someone else will like it and it's a fiver oh, if you know if you don't know nike sp is the skateboarding element of nike so um it's always quite softer well, i've only started recently picking up this brand you know um peter miller it's actually really good like if you actually look at the comp and this stuff and this one's, I think this one's pretty old as well, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if you have vintage golf kind of lovers, I'm not sure, but it's nice. But the thing is, I can see like a, I can see like a line here, which kind of ruins it for me. But yeah, Peter Miller golf stuff is worth it if you can see it and it's in good condition. I'm not sure if this is as good as my other villa find, but the North Stand. It's all right, I guess, but I'm not going to take it. It's a bit cracked up and stuff and... It's almost like a, what you call it, copyright infringement, so we don't want to get caught short with that, do we? Oh, that's cool. Nice little Paul Smith thing. But 1750 is a bit, a little bit too much for a t-shirt like that. So an absolute cracker joke on the radio. Um, someone went to the shop of this and asked, do you file your nails? And the person replies, no, I just tend to throw them away, really. <laughs> just bad jokes in here. That's a cool piece, isn't it? 1875 but just look at that look at that zebra just looking proud there man the thing is the only thing that put me off about it is that it's like a formal shirt and if that was like a, a jumper maybe i probably would have took it but because it's a formal shirt especially on like whatnot shows and even ebay people don't wear shirts as much as they wear like t-shirts jumpers this area so it's like it's like very formal it's not like anything special like linen or thick cotton so I just don't think it can justify picking that one up. There's a couple of bangs up here. Which one should I get first? This one's cool. Look at this. It's like the Polo Sport Ralphie Weekender bag. So uh, look, there's anything decent about it. do not really have the American flag on it, does it? Oh, look inside. Oh, yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's a free bag inside. <laughs> Got a little polo spot, cheeky thing there as well. Laughing. And then this one. If we can get this one as well. Let's look at this one. That's just like a big Nike weekender bag. It's not in the best condition, to be honest. So we'll leave that one, but we'll take this one. I think this one's a decent one. You might think so too. 
Burberry brick, £6.50. It's alright, it? it's not the Nova check I would like, but it's still a check of some sort. There's a little bit of a mark there, which we're probably able to get out. And it looks legit, it looks legit to me anyway. Yeah, it's pretty decent. We've got these here, but I'm not too keen. <laughs> in brand new condition though, but I couldn't sell on the show and most of my stuff is going to shows now, so 25 quid, probably not. Uh, probably won't be able to sell them really. Because I don't know, I don't know too much about them, but I know they're good. Good on eBay for definite, but probably not for that price either. These are pretty cool. These are like Y2K, I think. Maybe vintage-y. <laughs> uh, more vintage Armani jeans. And it's always that little bit there, but again, if you look at it, very bobbly, like extremely bobbly. And yeah, a bit falling apart a little bit. But some people are proper after this stuff, you know, like this particular label. I remember someone was like, was, I had, a bit, I had a, like a weird message or someone like, he was really like, adamant to get one off me and he's a bit, he's a bit weird basically it's a weird exchange but he's just obsessed with that particular label so i'm guessing there'll be a few other people like that as well so could this be the first banger of the day when you can't hardly see it let me just look at the bottom label before i tell you uh it's meant to be prada i'm not 100 percent confident thank you it's £5.50. It's like a, like a Prada basic tea, isn't it? So, let me just do a quick check on eBay and just see if they used... I normally look at this label, see if they use this label, but even looking at that one, that's a bit... Don't look super quality. So I'll have a quick check and see. To be honest, I'm not wholly confident that Prada there doesn't look amazing, if that makes sense. And this bottom label it doesn't look very good either. Right, there's nothing to it, so... With this luxury brand stuff, do you like to make sure that it's luxury? Oh, what the heck? Banger. Well, if I dare to stop now, then I'll be very happy. That's an absolute find. This is different. I'm not sure anything about it, but it's Zara flammable. But the thing that's getting me is it's made in Portugal. And I f I'm just, I'm feeling it. Oh, it's new tags as well. They took the, they took the price off, don't they, the cheekies? Okay, we'll take it because I've just seen one comp which was like pretty decent considering it's Sarah, so it might be something. Might be nothing, might be something though, we'll see. This is pretty cool, look at a herringbone. Uh, it's 14.50. I'll just check that there, tail in the USA, but because it's in that green, it can only be one thing. It's all this. It's like a boating jacket, isn't it? 55% silk. 14.50, it's a bit, no, you can see it's a bit, it's a bit worn up. It's got a few stains in it, so. I don't think you can bang a blazer in a washing machine, can you really? You fall into all sorts of trouble doing that. Oh, another banger. Another banger. If you don't know, Sunspell. Absolute banger. Six pound, what an absolute steal. If you look at this prices on this stuff as well, this is crazy prices on this. What a beautiful thing. Again, made in Portugal. High quality stuff. I'm not going to pick this up. This is a Ralph Lauren, but I think it's been reworked. But if you look at that, that's really cool. It's been overlocked around the collar, but they've ripped off the collar, which is really cool. And then they've done the sleeves up. That's really cool, but I ain't got no use for it. But look at these here. The Air Max Patties. Absolutely beaut. Look at them. Got that there. I've checked the codes and stuff, but I think these are the waves or something like that. Look at the dirt, man. There's like literally a little bit of dirt. That's a baby wipe job, that, isn't it? Not, even these things are still there. Do you know what I mean? So, hardly worn. Why are they there? That is crazy. But yeah, I do like driving to parts like this because they always tend to find like higher quality stuff. Albeit it's a bit more expensive, but if you can put it in front of the right people, then obviously you can have a good time. All right, I think we're going to do one more place and then probably go home. Got a few banties here. We sold this one on that show that we did. Um, this is on the Gildan though. £2.35, decent. Same one, all time low. Uh, 2013. What's this one? Don't say it. But yeah, 2013, that's pretty good. And then there's this one here of mice and men. So, nice little start, all £2.35. We're laughing. Peaky flounders. Um, this is like an eBay staple. 
but I'm not sure if it's a whatnot staple. So six pound fifty. I'll pass on to the next man. But that's an absolute pickup. So I'll bless my up with that one. And these are very nice. Look at these. These are Levi's cords. I'll show you there. Levi's cords. But what I did notice was the Levi's premium, which means they are very decent and higher quality. Like some of these can go for like fifty pound eBay. So I think they're a good purchase. I think we're gonna take them. Some more cords here. Oh, could it be? Oh, it's another pair. That's some brand delusion. Cause it's night golf. We put six pound on it, and it's vintage. Pretty cool, but even I can't miss that hole. That's mad. But yeah, don't let the brand blind you. It's still got to be in one piece. You know what I mean? I always love picking this up now. Always love picking this up. Rest in peace to the G, Vivian Westwood. Got Shakespeare thing going on. And I sold my last one for about 40 something pound, I think it was. But it's just a nice one, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Vivian Westwood did this comic relief thing for a while. She did like, it's like Black Adder, this one. But, uh, Louis Tom, Tommy Cooper, something like that, I can't remember. I think it's Tommy Cooper, isn't it? Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Is, so yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I'm taking that for definite. Big up your gold crew. You had a gold pencil case in school. This thing was absolutely done. Do you know what I mean? It took so much damage and still lived on. So big love for the gold. This is an absolute fire tea. Look at that. Saddleworth Rush Cart 1993. So Saddleworth's in Oldham. Um, and they have like things like the uh, they have like the wit walk and the band uh, the band contest and all that kind of stuff absolute cool piece such a cool piece that look at that and it is a single stitch as well the label is dead out well worn so oh, what a find what a find oh, what's that one? the regular head wall of sound oh sad off again we're banging made in style in USA Main Island, sick. Single as well, okay. Fire pieces. But yeah, I, I like these, because obviously this reminds me of home. Um, obviously, I, did, I wasn't from Sadworth, I wasn't that posh, but it's home still. It's still an old one somewhere, even though I don't like to admit it. Now we've got some absolute killer pieces today, I think, but this one, that's a legendary bit. That was three pound. I'm gonna give that to Becky's Bazaar, because she's a ledge, obviously. She loves all this Eminem stuff, so I'll pay that forward. Uh, but I didn't even get to show you this one. This, well, I did show it you, but I don't think you understood how good this is. I'll show you the comps looking at about 120 pound, 110 pound, 100 pound. So it's a fire piece. It's a fire piece, no doubt. So it's been a good day. Feels like we've not done this for a while. No, we haven't. Oh, I but, like your bag. What do you reckon? Hey, it's what's very good about snazzy. it? Snazzy. So here's the difference, right? Say like this is an IKEA bag, yeah. yeah. Like, underneath your thing, and you're trying to like sort through. Can you hear that? Yeah? yeah? Well then, with this bad boy here, I had this like on my shoulder and everything. And I was like sorting through. This is me sorting through. Can't hear nothing, bro. Can't hear nothing. It's actually quality. But big got LPs. Big got LPs for the bag. And then look, show, show them a little ting in there. How sick is that? It's beautiful, isn't it? That is actually really cool. Yeah, so big up, man, big up. I want to show you these. These are sick. Now you'll know what these are, yeah? Okay. And you'll work out and think, what? You're like, oh, that's cool. That's what you're going to do. I know, in fact, I know you're going to do that, yeah? Okay. You're like, what? That's cool. Hang on. The Wrigley Head. Oh, is that the band thing? Yeah. That plays down at Saddleworth? Yeah. They, um... Is it Wit? Is it like Wit Walk that time? I can't remember. 993. Yeah, single stitches. How Are sick you going to sell that or is that for you? I don't even know. What, what do I do with it? I don't know. Because that's, that's fire, that, isn't it? That is proper cool. What is the saddle of rush cart? Because I don't know about the rush cart. I just know about the band contest. But it's nothing to do with that. That's, it's completely different. Oh. So next Morris Miners going on a... Morris Miners. Next Morris Dancers going on a wild one, basically. Through that Upper Mill. cool, though. How cool is that? Yeah. Surely that's something. <laughs> Who's that for? Becky's Bazaar. Yeah, man. Are you actually going to give it to her? Yeah, I'm just going to give it to her. What am I going to do with it? Oh. But I'm pretty sure it's a dispenser of some sort. 
Oh, she will love that. Do you reckon? Yeah, she'll put it as part of the display somewhere. She loves displaying things. Big up, big up Vegas Bazaar for an M&M team. Vegas Bazaar, check her out on TikTok yeah. and Instagram. I'm going to show you some killer pieces now. Okay, straight away, killer. Yeah? Yeah? We're not messing yeah. up. It's got all dogs on it. How much you sell them? I've sold two pairs, one for about 70. Two X. Yeah, two X. This is what I mean. It's a two so X. It's all about the pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the pattern. It's sausage dog dog. They didn't know what they were, did it's they? It's got a little Radley dog on there, I think. That's proper cool. Look, a Highland Terrier. Sausage dog. Dash hunt. It's giving dog, so if they say this is standard, then they are wrong. Yeah. Okay? I think there's a few dog lovers out there, don't they? Only a few, but. Yeah. Yeah, they could do a. Madness, basically. And they're two X, so. Yeah. Oh. You already know. You already know. Sunspell. Yeah, man. I only have ever held Sunspell polos and Sunspell box. Was it I've boxes? Got... Yes. Remember that Sunspell Those... boxes scenario? You got tons of them, didn't you? And mm -hmm. they all went to America, I think. But we've got some shorts down in the house. Yeah. Show the label. Man. I don't think I showed the label very well. But yeah, that's Sunspell. So it's made in England. I think it's made around here. Is it made yeah. around here? Incredible quality. I think it's, I think it's not in good. It's like yeah. a chino short, isn't it? Very nice. But this, if it's anything, if you look very closely, again, it's a twill cotton. Very high. Made wearing. in Long Eaton. Big LE. Do you know what I mean? They're worth about, well, brand new, they're about 150 quid, I would say. That's mad. But the find of the day with these, now I paid up from but I just think on a show, these are gonna, these are gonna move mad. They're nice. Let me show you, right? I'm going to show you now because... They're in, like, new condition. Like, this is what I mean. That's why I was like, I need to get them because they're, like, brand new. mckicks.co.uk, .co.uk, right? So you can yeah. get them here if you want to buy them. Go get them. Wow. Don't worry about, don't worry about them. Don't worry about these ones. Just get them from here. Get them, get them for this price. £500. Do you know what I mean? Wow. And they're, like, in perfect condition. You know it's brand new because they're still there. Yeah. The little nipples. That's yeah. been tried on once. That's been tried on once, and it basically. Yeah. What size are they? Did you say? The size. Eleven. They didn't say Ten, uh, nine and a half. You could try. It. They might fit your face. <laughs> no. Boy. You have to zoom in on Boy. that one. <laughs> Boy. You keep looking at yourself in the mirror. I keep feeling myself. <laughs> Ooh, they still feel tight as well. Like not broken yet. Ooh, fresh. Sorry, I'm just going to chill, man. What do you reckon? You're right there, lad. Yeah? It's all good? Yeah. I have to tell myself it's not my shoe. It's not my shoe. It's not my shoe. It's not my shoe. Take it off. But it's the reason why it took me so long to get home, yeah? Because it's all A roads. I thought it was down the M1. What, Lincoln? It's nowhere near down the M1, is it? No. I was stuck, like, so it said an hour and a half, yeah? About 30 minutes of that was just trying to get out of Nottingham. Yeah, you're on your way to Skeg. So I've learned my lesson. Right, we'll see. And you you're again. doing well. Freaking out. <laughs> You're getting videos out. Yeah, videos are coming out. Like... Um, I just wanted to say to Pete <laughs> that I think you're, you th you're doing well and I'm proud of you. Hopefully this Same one well. comes out within a week too and we'll get there. Yeah. November. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching, commenting, all that stuff. We're, we just appreciate it massively that anyone's it. even just tuning in. And we'll, we'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Take care. You find that cringe, don't you? Yeah. How did that even start, though? What? Why, why did we start saying that? Did, I, you say did, it? I, did I try to make it a thing? I tried yeah. to make it a thing and then I backed out of it. That's what happened, so anyway. Your mum backed out of it.